well, we hey, have a situation Cap. in the Caleb system. The Klingons are massing a battle fleet in that sector, and it's pointed at Federation space. I'm leading a force to respond to this aggression, and I want you to be a part of it. If they cross the line, we need to be ready for anything. Okay, let's go for it. Stay safe out there. This what? is a pivotal moment in Federation history. Oh. The Nakul may attempt to disrupt it somehow, change the course of time. We'll need to look for signs of temporal flux. I'll have to Google it off stream at some point. They show up. We'll need to deal with them, no matter what. All right. And we're going to start the Battle of Caleb IV. All hands, this is Admiral Garrett, on board the USS Yorktown. I'm the commanding officer of this task force. Our long-range sensor platforms have detected a Klingon battle fleet massing near this system. At the moment, they're attacking our subspace relay network in order to disrupt communications and long-range surveillance in this sector. We have the Klingons outnumbered at this time. Should they abandon reason and follow a standard attack doctrine, fire to disable their ships if possible. A strong show of force should send them back to their side of the line. All ships, go to yellow alert. Gear it out. Mecklenburg standing by. Orders acknowledged. The Admiral's hailing the Klingons on all Thank you. No response. Kind of waiting. The okay. Are an run on the subspace relays. Is it a home delivery? Is it? Super heal on. Yeah. Super heal and super speed. It's amazing what plot armor can do for you. Yeah, bread. Port stuff. Remember though that Mary Antoinette wrecked
Yeah, he's got me. The mighty Federation has been brought to heel at last by the Klingon Empire. Those who remain shall know mercy in return for your unconditional surrender. I thought Klingons didn't take prisoners, Court. We Klingons can be gracious in victory. Though, should you wish to die in battle with honor, I will gladly oblige you. I'm picking up a temporal anomaly on one of the Klingon ships. It's consistent with readings we've seen in previous Naboo incursions. They're trying to interfere with the timeline again. Until we break out of this tractor beam, there's not much I can do, Daniels. Leave that to me. I'll modify the transporter and beam you over, past their shields. Once on board, free the ship and neutralize the anomaly if you can. Hurry, we're literally running out of time. Understood. Okay. Just can't remember if our new guy has got armor or not. Yes, he does. Good. And away we go. Daniel's beamed us into a barracks. Oh. I'm not picking up any Change out of our e Looks like we EV got the kit. drop on the Klingons. I brought several photon charges along. If placed tactically, we can use them to disrupt this ship's power grid and take down the tractor beam. Good thinking. Let's move out. We want that tractor beam out of action. That door to the left leads to an engineering section. Good place Just to set a thought. charge. Might as well get the extra 5% damage, or whatever it is. Is there any of them out there? Oh, so he's already been got. Okay. Cut it open. No time for anything else. I don't care about property damage to clean on ships. Science lab over here. Probably the only one on a ship of this size. Another good spot for a bomb. Fairly effective. Got them all. Those charges will do some damage. Now we just have to find the tractor beam controls. Okay, well, let's go for it. You need to finish them now. All of them. 
You don't understand how dangerous they are. I don't need to do anything. Do not forget who is captain here and who is merely a visitor. I've given you the means to victory. I suggest you use them now. Noted, though it seems we have other concerns now. I warned you, Kor. Deal with this. Don't fail me. Well, well. I was hoping for Kirk, but I got you. Pity. It is a nutty, yeah, absolutely. So you're the Federation Globflies who found their way onto my ship. A bold maneuver, to be sure. Bold or not, you remain insects. A minor nuisance to be exterminated, swiftly and without mercy. Your allies are using you, the Nakul aren't here to help you, they're here to help themselves. And in that way, we are alike, for we both are here to help ourselves. Today, I will take what I want in the Empire's name and use it to utterly defeat the Federation. And the Nakul? Should the time for war come, we will meet them in glorious battle. But for now, our goals align. Where is Core? There he is. I'm gonna do my looting first. Can't possibly go without before the looting's done. Turn to the ship. Chargers are ready to blow. We should get back to the ship and take out the tractor beam. Are you ready? Beaming over. It's a nice trick to be able to beam past shows though. Beam on call this Run while you can, Starfleet. Oh, get fucked. Oh, calls back. He's out the light again. Now we get this one. Yes. Oh, calls back again. Give him the broadside. Scoop. Um, I'm not sure that's a, a, a thick suit. No, I'm not sure about that. Well, 
B4s out of it. Now let's try and get these two B5s out. Can we get round so we can get... Yes! I'm afraid you're dead. Your ship was destroyed in combat while protecting the retreat of Admiral Garrett's forces. Your sacrifice allowed Garrett to warn Starfleet about Klingon cloaking tech, but your ship was lost with all hands. At least, that's what's in the history books. I've brought you and the crew members I could save to the early 25th century. You're being recruited as a temporal agent. Since you're dead, we're giving you a new identity. We have a speed training and reacclimation process that will help you to fit in. I know this is a bit unusual, but you'll get used to it. Yeah, in some senses, it's the, it's the original series story arc, isn't it? Uh, much in the same way. Yeah, uh, tutorial. It, it's the same as the initial story for the uh, uh, the Romulan factions. Boom! Back to the Future, indeed. Who will be joining the crew of the USS Mickelberg? But the Nicklenburg's been destroyed. Good job they brought us forward. A Packlid Engineering Officer. Does anybody choose the Packlid Engineering Officer? A Betazoid Science Officer or a Klingon Tactical Officer? Oh, definitely going to have the Klingon Tactical Officer. No, not going to join. Yeah, at the moment, anyway. Right, talk to the logistics officer. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. Busy day on the holodeck, sir? I love dressing up for those historical holo novels, too. My Harry Mudd costume took first prize last year. That being said, you're scheduled for a meeting with the top brass, so you, you might want to update your uniform beforehand. The Admiral can be a stickler for that sort of detail, after all. Okay. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. 